What a win here by the Arizona Rattlers. As they come to Sioux Falls. No doubt about that. Your Arizona Rattlers adding another championship trophy to the shelves. Over the weekend, the team won the Indoor Football League Championship, which is a first for the team in this new league, 50-41 to 41 over Sioux Falls. Rattlers' five previous championships have come from the Arena Football League. So join in us with this huge trophy this morning. Rattlers president Chris Presson and, of course, Stryker is here as well. Thank you guys for coming in. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. This is really a huge deal again. It is. It was, uh, it was a season full of ups and downs, mm -hmm. as they all are, but... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we prevailed at the end. We got off to a slow start. And uh, as our coach said all along, hey, we may lose some games at the beginning, only to be there at the end. And we won 10 games in a row to close the season and win the championship. That is fantastic. Uh, this trophy, it's already got your little placard here with all the names. This means a lot, doesn't it? Because uh, it's the first year. In this it league. does. You know, first year in a new league, Kevin had to completely turn the roster over. Mm -hmm. He brought a lot of young players in. We win the championship with 17 rookies. Uh, kind of unprecedented. And then we go become the new kings of the hill. We take the trophy from Sioux Falls, who had won six championships in a row. That's right. So yeah. it was quite a feat. For us to go to Sioux Falls to win there is difficult. They've only lost two games in seven years. And to uh, have 17 rookies and to win it all, that just means that you're coming back really strong next year. Yeah, I was talking to our coach this morning about that very thing, and he said, hey, we look good. A lot of the guys are interested in coming back, and, and that's how you build for the future. You keep that core group of guys and just plug and play around them. And, and that's been Kevin's quotient for success for the last eight, nine, ten years. Do I smell champagne in the top of this cup, I think? Yeah, we had some fun with that on Saturday <laughs> night. you did. In Sioux Falls, and uh, the people there were great, and they understood our, our excitement. And again, to, to take it from a, a team that had won six in a row was quite a feat. Is this a traveling trophy? It is. Yeah. So it'll be with us until we lose it again, and nice. we don't plan on doing that anytime soon. Where are you going to keep it? We're going to keep it down, downtown at the office. Okay. The Talking Stick Resort Arena, so people that come by our office can see it and so that we can share it with the community as well because that's really what it's all nice. about. Nice, and you have a press conference today and then a big party coming up? We do a press conference today at noon. Everyone's invited, kind of a close to our championship season, and a recap, if you will, and then a party for our fans and sponsors tonight at Marley's Desert Ridge. That party's going to be fun. Stryker, don't you agree with me? You guys deserve a parade, right? Are we talking a parade? Yes. <laughs> Well, we're excited about you. Uh, congratulations. And uh, I was just telling you, we got to give you guys a lot more love next year uh, throughout the season, not just in the end. Well, we that's appreciate That's for sure. That. You guys, it's been a great organization and a great thing for uh, the Valley, that's for sure. So uh, thanks for coming in and bringing the trophy. We really appreciate it. And Thank you. Good luck next year. Be a fun party tonight. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much.